Well, my name is Frank James. I'm a physician here in Bellingham. I've been here since uh, 1969 when I first moved here as a student. Um, so when I found out that 160 docs had come together, I thought 160 docs never get together for anything. I talked to Sarah Mostad, who's the person that really pulled the group together, and uh, she invited me to join with them and to trying to trying to really fully understand what it would mean for uh, a corporation to bring 48 million tons of coal through our town. In order to bring 48 million tons of coal to Bellingham, it would require about 20 trains a day, uh, about 10 in each direction. Uh, those trains would be heavier than usual, so they, they typically require four engines, two in front and two in back. It would also require uh, over 400 ships, uh, the largest ships made, uh, to haul it from here away. Those two things would produce a huge amount of diesel particulate matter. Diesel particulate matter isn't like dust. Diesel particulate matter is a, a core that's almost like a sponge, and the other products of combustion um, then attach to that sponge. And it's just the right size to read down in the very depths of your lung. Uh, the things that are attached are very toxic and are responsible for a lot of disease in urban centers where there are a lot of diesel vehicles. In a place like Bellingham where the air is pretty pristine, it's going to make a dramatic difference in the quality of our air and the quality of our lives and will significantly increase the risk of a whole variety of diseases, everything from heart disease to asthma. In addition to that, there would be a delay in the ability of uh, emergency vehicles to get to and then return from either accident scenes or places where people are having heart attacks. Um, as you know, time is critical in emergency response and those delays could be a threat to, to people's lives. The physicians in our community are interested in having a health impact assessment done. All of us are going to be requesting the governor uh, do that study. It's definitely in the public's interest to know that information before we agree to have such a report here.